you're described as the father of lean here at IHP. What made you want to start lean in the first place and how did it come together back a few years ago? So I don't know, I don't know about being the father of lean, but hopefully I've had some impact on it, on it spreading. Myself, Rohan Reed, who was here at the time, other leaders, Mike Deering, we said, let's do it right. So that's when we hired Simpler and really, really started the process. The whole organization is starting to make some form of lean a part of their DNA. And I think it's because of the way that Dr. G rolled it out. It was about people. It was about engaging people. Hi, my name is Bradley. I'm a staff person at IEHP. And I was asked to be part of an RIE, Rapid Improvement Event, which is a cool lean thing where we sit in a room for four and a half days with a bunch of cool people and we come up with really neat ideas about how to make processes better at IEHP. What he did was actually took the principles from manufacturing, healthcare, all kinds of different, different areas and industries, and actually helped to craft and tailor them specific here for IEHP. And without Dr. Gilbert's support about, around lean, it, it could have died because lean is a lot more work than just coming to work and doing your job. Building that structure um, and getting all those people involved and allowing space and time for it to happen. I mean, that has been a huge impact that as a CEO, he allowed us that space to experiment. One of the greatest lean principles I think that Dr. G has really instilled here is respect for people. Dr. G really lives and breathes it. Um, he's, he's somebody who is, is out there every day and he truly believes that uh, everybody has a voice, even from the frontline staff. For us to be able to have our frontline staff actually be able to solve their problems, their frustrations every single day, is what makes Lean and the Lean tools so invaluable. To me, I think about it, the engagement of the team. You know, if, if your staff feels they're part of the solution, if they're part of the thought process of how we can do things better, then they care more about their job. They're more engaged, they're more involved, they're more active in their job. We are at the 2019 Annual Lean Conference, and as you can see, it is packed. Hi, Dr. Gilbert. Hello. I am so excited to run into you here, and I, what I love about it as I was overhearing is the team members are just so confident in what they've done. And they're excited about what they've done. They think, because they know it's making a difference. They know they're, in this case, directly helping our members to get better access to behavioral health services, which is such a critical part of someone's care. So this is all about taking care of the members. And that's the bottom line. These are the people taking care of our members, talking to our members, talking to our providers, working with each other. So having them in the best place possible about their job and lean as a piece of that, to me is absolutely critical. He truly wants to hear from the frontline staff and he really wants those people to, to be able to grow. And so that really is respect for people and not every organization has a CEO um, that, that really shows that. But he also cares about the member as a person and the provider as a person. And so it's not about dollars and cents, it's not about bottom line, it's not about financial transactional things, it's really about the human being at the center of all of his kind of thoughts and motivations, which is powerful. A lot of people look at Lean for cost savings or staff reduction, but we look at it very differently at IEHP. We look at it from the perspective of better service to our members, better care for our providers, and then better care for each other. He makes it very easy. If we have questions, we can go to him. He's a very open person. He's, he's very, very supportive of everything we do, everything I do. And if I have any doubts, I can go talk to him anytime, and he puts my doubts to rest. When we had first launched the Gemba Zone, Dr. Gilbert was standing in front of all of our directors, and he was asking them what they had all each been doing and what they have been learning. And every reply that the directors had, he had a little bit of a teaching moment where he kind of brought it back for everybody to learn a little bit more about how they can be even an even better lean leader in the workplace. And it was just remarkable to watch him literally for 45 minutes teach lean without even realizing he was teaching lean. Watching him and observing him and how he behaves as a leader and role models lean in an organization such as ours has just been invaluable to me. Food. Lead by example. Unwavering. Innovative. Servant. 
Legend. Relentless. Exemplary. Trusting. Supportive. Ambassador. Visionary. Dedicated. Dedicated. Empathetic. Steady. Inspirational. Empowering. Consistent. You know, I, I feel like I have some big, big time shoes to fill and I probably won't fill them to the full extent that Dr. G did, but I will tell you that one thing I really wanna make sure we continue is our lean journey. To be where we are today is just incredible. So I can't wait to see what the next five, 10 years is gonna look like with the lean principles being not only adopted more fully, but really to Dr. G's point, really us being lean. Being lean to me is how you do business, how we think about our processes, how we improve those processes, how we think about our work that you know goes across different departments. So to me, it's really about keeping it live, real, and within process improvement with our facilitators to really keep the momentum and the energy and constantly improving. So if we're gonna really do this right, we've gotta commit. We've gotta commit to not doing lean, but actually becoming lean.